Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon news video. Today we're going to be covering the Pokemon items releasing in March of 2021. There was also a couple items that were released last week and at the end of February. And we're also going to briefly talk about the new Pokemon games coming out as well. So with that said, grab some food, buckle down. And uh, if you want to throw this on a different monitor, maybe as like a little audio podcast kind of vibe, that's cool too. I'll also briefly talk about the resale value potentially of certain items, how hot I think they'll be, if they're going to sell out or if you're going to need to pre-order them. To start things off, we're going to get to the non-Pokemon card items, and then we'll get to the Pokemon card items right after. I'll leave timestamps in the description, or a little like bars will be on the screen if you're watching on mobile or on desktop. So to start things off, the Pokemon store, the official store online, has released a bunch of items the last couple of days, along with pre-orders. So there's a lot of 25th anniversary items, which makes sense because, I mean, it is the 25th anniversary week. Oh yeah, and just a heads up, I am from Canada, so a lot of the prices I will show if I show any prices will be in Canadian But I'll also have the US prices flash on screen if I have those numbers as well But as you guys know Pokemon items they they the prices they fluctuate depending on where you buying them from So first up we have a 25th anniversary Pokemon sword and shield Pikachu plushie now by the looks of it It is two Pikachus in one plushie like fused together in two different outfits It looks really really cute. These are about eight inches tall and the outfits that these Pikachu choose are wearing are from the Pokemon Sword and Shield game. These released in the summer around June 2021. And you know what? Let's get into the other pre-order items right now just because we're already talking about one of the pre-order items. So the next one is the Marnie Nendroid figure. So if you guys don't know, Nendroid is like a super, super uh, popular kind of figures. They do a lot of them for animes and uh, this is, well, Pokemon is also an anime as well. I have a couple for like Mega Man, Legend of Zelda, and Overwatch, but this Marnie one, oh, it's so, so nice. If you're a Marnie fanboy like I am, this is probably gonna be a must cop. However, they are on the pricier end because these figures are very, very detailed and they're also posable with extra like accessories and outfits that you can use on them. So the Marnie one is retailing for 77 Canadian dollars. Most likely I want to say 60 US dollars or 69.99 US. Not only does it come with Marnie, but it also comes with a more Peko. And not just one more Peko, two more Pekos. It has more Peko in the full belly mode, which is his happy joyful self. And I just found out this the other day, but it's other mode like the dark version is called hangry mode hangry or hungry and angry. I call my girlfriend that all the time. There's just so many different cool poses you can do for these figures. It really is a true collector's item. And the Marnie Nendroid is expected to ship out around November, 2021. So quite a long wait for this pre-order item considering it is March. You're almost gonna be waiting like a full year. And the last pre-order item from the Pokemon website that is now currently sold out. I kind of regret not pre-ordering this earlier if I had known these were gonna sell out that fast, but we have like a replica Master Ball. These look really cool, really detailed. They retail for 156 Canadian, probably like 140 US, and the resale on these is just crazy. I'll leave the I'll leave some images right now of some recently sold listings on eBay or the current active listings. From what I can remember seeing on Twitter a couple days ago, these were reselling for like $400, $500, which is more than double to triple the retail price. I, I might have even seen $600, that's why I just said triple right now. So yeah, this is like a super super collect item and I gotta say they're probably gonna do some other pokeballs not just like the master ball they're probably gonna do like a great ball ultra ball you guys know the drill when it comes to all the different balls out there that sounded really really funny this is a really high detail like master ball for display so if you're an absolute pokemon fanatic on top of that there's also touch and proximity sensing technology so if you get your hands close to it i believe it lights up which is really really unique and on top of that these are also limited to five five thousand master balls and each one is individually numbered and they're three inches in diameter which is pretty much the one-to-one -one ratio to what they are in the actual pokemon universe so that's pretty much all of the pre-order items that were available on pokemon's website let's get to the other items which are currently readily available so there's going to be two different lanyards available these are going to be going for 17 canadian dollars they have a black version and a white version both to celebrate the 25th anniversary of pokemon they look dope and I would probably only buy just one of them um, because, well, you really don't need more than one lanyard unless you're a lanyard collection. 
if that's a thing. Next up, we have some tumblers for all the people in the hot coffee gang or just like to use tumblers for whatever drinks. They have two of them releasing. One is a like rounded 10 ounce Pikachu one and these are both insulated by the way. So we have this like rounded silver and black one because silver is like the color for the 25th anniversary for pretty much everything. It's like synonymous silver, 25th anniversary. It was like that for the Air Jordan 11 Jubilee as well, which also celebrated its 25th anniversary last year. And then they have a larger one that is 16 ounces. So if I were to, you know, maybe join the hot coffee gang or just fill these up with water on a consistent basis, this would be the one I pick out of the two. They're also releasing two Pokemon 25th anniversary glasses as well on the website. These are both going for $26. They have one that is 12 ounces, one that's 11 and a half ounces, and the designs are very similar. So next up, let's get to the apparel, starting off with probably the banger piece on the website, it is their Windbreaker jacket. So just a heads up if you didn't know, they did a Pokemon and Levi's collaboration and that went really well. I think pretty much all the items are sold out, but I'll leave a link down below to the Pokemon Levi's collection. And a lot of those items have crazy reset value like that all over print jacket. However, these ones look like they're gonna be not as limited, which is very exciting. Now I'm sure Pokemon made a ton of these, so don't expect these to sell out too, too fast if they do sell out. But these are reversible jackets, which is awesome because basically basically means you get two jackets for the price of one. The first side is a black and silver combo with the 25th anniversary print going on the top half of it. But if that's a little too bold for you, maybe you don't want to stand out as much, you can reverse it around and get pretty much an all black version of the jacket with very subtle hits of silver when it comes to like the Pikachu tail accent on the side by the arm. Really clean reversible jacket. These are going for about 91 Canadian dollars, probably like 80 US off prices on screen. And besides that, they have a bunch more 25th anniversary Pokemon clothing. I don't want to get into too much detail, so I'll have all the images flash up on screen, but a lot of them are about 33 Canadian dollars, and they have just basic graphic tees with the 25th anniversary Pikachu logo slapped down the middle chest area, both men's and women's sizing, along with these baseball tees as well, and simple crew necks, and also uh, some tank tops too. So there's just a whole ton of different 25th anniversary Pokemon available right now on the Pokemon website. Next up, let's get to the new pins. As you guys know, Pokemon has a lot of pins and usually when I buy pins I get them from the pin collections however they've been, re been releasing like high quality exclusive exclusive expensive pins on the website and they've been doing this new series called the pixel pins so they have new ones on the website right now we have Rhyhorn and Rhydon this is a two-pack pin showing some Kanto love we also have a new one for the uh, the Caterpie lineup with Caterpie Metapod and Butterfree these are $25 Canadian there's also a Weedle one as well with Weedle Beedle, Kakuna, and Beedrill. Next up, we have Venonant and Venomoth. We also have Radata and Radicate. We have Paris and Parasect. Now, the final items we're gonna talk about before we get to the actual Pokemon trading cards, we got new sitting plushies. Sitting plushies are super, super popular collect to collect for a lot of Pokemon trainers or Pokemon collectors out there. So they make them for pretty much all the generations. And the most recent like wave that they've just released are for the Hoenn region for like Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. The really good thing about these sitting plushies is they're pretty much displayable because they're always like in the sitting pose and you can put them side by side and make a cool little shelf. We got Flygon, we have Soul Rock, we got Wishcash, Sharpedo, Lanoon, Minin, Loudred, Slack Off. We have Regirock, but no Registeel or Regiice, surprisingly. They'll probably be on later. Ralts, Lunatone, Swalot, Skitty, Wishmer, Plusle, Swallow, Leron, Hariyama, Medicham, Shed Ninja, Grumpig, Barbouch, and Swablu, and Shuppet. Now, from what I've seen, a lot of these are priced at $14.99 Canadian, which is likely $12.99 or $11.99 US. These do sell out very fast. Fast. They did release a, another wave of these a few weeks ago and those sold out pretty quickly as well I think the, the website crashed for quite a few people But yeah, that is it in terms of what's on the Pokemon website I also forgot I was going to talk about the items available exclusively at GameStop or EB games in Canada So let's quickly run through those and then we'll get to the trading cards. So for my Funko Pop collectors out there I like them a lot, but some look really soulless with their black beady eyes That's one of the reasons my girlfriend doesn't like pop figures. We have a bunch of Pokemon ones that are releasing I believe exclusively at GameStop or wherever Funko Pops are sold. We have Meowth, we have Psyduck, we have a silver Bulbasaur for the 25th anniversary, Pikachu in an attack stance, we got Metallic Pikachu as well, Raichu, 
Ponyta and Mew. So all the pop figures are $14.99 Canadian, and then that one silver bubble store is $16.99. These are all currently pre-orders at the moment. Another great item that GameStop had that is now sold out in most places is this Pikachu ramen bowl set. It's like this ramen bowl that also comes with chopsticks, and it looks really, really cool. Unfortunately, they're sold out and they're really hard to find, so you might have to search on eBay. Those were $17 Canadian, and another item which I can't seem to buy online, but you can buy them in store. So check your local GameStop. They have a Snorlax mug. Now the Snorlax mug looks amazing. I love really cool mug designs. And uh, if you're a Pokemon fan and want to wake up to a Snorlax coffee every morning or a hot chocolate, these are going for about 20 Canadian dollars or probably 17 US or 16 US. These are such good gifts. Pikachu ramen bowl and Snorlax mug. Tell me that is not gonna put a big smile on whoever's face you're gonna give it to. And last but not least, before we get to the actual trading cards, let's talk about the games that are announced. Pokemon Snap, March 30th. Uh, that's at the end of the month. And to be honest, I'm probably not gonna buy this game just because I wasn't really a huge player of Pokemon Snap back in the 64 era. It was cool, I played it a little bit, but I don't think I had a memory card, so I don't know if I could have, I don't know, I think I rented it at Blockbuster. So that's why I never ended up like playing too much of it. Next up, we have the remakes for Pokemon Pearl and Diamond. I believe it's like Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They look exciting, they look amazing. I'm really excited for these. They use that chibi art style that we're used to seeing for a lot of Pokemon games, not like the Sword and Shield style. Really, really looking forward to Pearl and Diamond coming out. So I'm probably gonna buy the Pearl version of the game. And I forgot to ask you guys the comment question of the day, which originally was gonna be, are you looking forward to any of the uh, items on the Pokemon website? But let's make it, are you team Pokemon Diamond or team Pokemon Pearl? Let me know in the comment section down below uh, which one you intend to buy if you're intending to buy them or what you think about the next game we're gonna talk about. But I'm gonna buy Pearl and I grew up on Pearl. So if you grew up on one of them too, let me know. But next up we have Pokemon Legends, the Arceus version. I, I can't wait for this. This looks like uh, Breath of the Wild, le like Legend of Zelda mixed with Pokemon. It looks like a cool MMORPG but with Pokemon, it looks so cool. It looks so unique. And I think pretty much everybody in the Pokemon universe is excited for this game to come out. I've only seen everyone be hyped for it, freaking out all the cool, crazy TikTok reactions and YouTuber reactions. The new Pokemon Legends RC is coming out, I believe next year. And yeah, so there's different teams working on Pearl and Diamond and the Arceus one. Pearl and Diamond will be releasing at the end of this year. And I believe the game director for it is actually the same one who was the OG game director for the 3DS version. So hopefully they keep it pretty you know, faithful to the original with of course, the much needed upgrades for 2021. Now on to the Pokemon card releases for March, 2021. Let's get into it. Starting off on March 5th, in two days from now, we have the new wave of Pokeball tins. This is wave number six, I believe. And this wave is gonna include the level ball for the very first time. On top of that, they're gonna be releasing the set of six with the great ball and the premier ball, which we have a premier ball right here, which we opened up the video with. And they're really cool. These are not quite to scale, they're a little bit larger than the actual balls in the Pokemon game, but that's because these Pokeballs have three booster packs and a coin included in them. And at the moment, we don't know which packs are going to be included in them. So if you wanna see which packs are included in the Pokeball tins for March, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll be unboxing all six of them in a upcoming video. A lot of places these are sold out, and uh, I, I think that's just because the demand for Pokemon is so high. Typically, these don't sell out ahead of time. I pre-ordered mine back in January. January 9th for $80 for the set of six. So we have, uh, I believe, 18 packs, which is a fair amount of packs. If you want to buy one individual Pokeball, they're typically 15 US dollars or $20 Canadian. And at uh, one time you could buy a bunch of these at Costco because Costco had like sets of three you could buy, which also had packs of XY evolutions in them. The only problem with these, these Pokeball tins is that often like the packs are pretty much crammed in there because of how tall, how small uh, the balls are. So you are potentially gonna get packs that might have some damage on them before you even open them at the edges just because of how tightly they put the packs inside. But if you're okay with kind of risking it, which I haven't had any two big issues with 
um, you, the Pokeballs are just so collectible and look really cool on display. Also believed to be releasing on March 5th are the first partner uh, booster packs for the Galar region, the Sword and Shield region. And these are the Jumbo packs. So these will have three Jumbo cards of the, uh, the starters and include two regular size booster packs as well. Now they did just release the actual binder meant to hold these cards a couple weeks ago, which I'll be picking up later this week. That binder is currently on sale right now or available for purchase on the Pokemon websites and at your local local game shop. These have 30 slots in them. So you can store up to 30 jumbo cards and it also includes a retro jumbo Pikachu from the Wizard of the Coast era. So it looks really cool and uh, I'm excited to put my jumbo cards in something, something you know, displayable. Next up are two different items believed to be releasing on either March 5th or March 9th. We have the Shining Fates Mini Tins. These are obviously already sold out in a lot of places. If, if, if you haven't pre-ordered them already, they're probably sold out or you're gonna pay market resale value. These are likely to have two packs of Shining Fates inside of them. We don't yet know for sure, but based off the prices, it looks like they're gonna have two Shining Fates inside. And they release a set of five of them and you can also buy them in a jumbo pack of like, 10 or, or five, just a bunch of them at once. And then besides that, they also have the new Pokemon Shining Fates VMAX Premium Collections coming out as well on either March 5th or March 9th. I got a March 5th date for Canadian releases. And the two VMAX Pokemon Collection for Shining Fates include Crobat and Crobat VMAX as one of them, and Dragapult and Dragapult VMAX as the other. I already purchased one of each. My local game shop limited me to one of each, and uh, they are 100 Canadian dollars. That's what I paid. Originally, I paid 120 and then they refunded me the difference because they lowered the price. If they haven't sold out already, I definitely recommend you guys check them out if you're wanting to buy some Shining Fates. They both include shiny versions of Crobat and Crobat VMAX or Dragapult and Dragapult VMAX respectively, a jumbo card as well, which you can throw in that binder. And they also include a matching coin for the set that you buy. Not sure yet if it's going to be like an actual like heavy metallic kind of coin or a plastic coin because the website just lists metallic coin. So we don't know just yet, but subscribe if you guys want to see what we pull and the whole you know what whole like what's inside of the boxes and best of all these have seven packs of shining fates and shining fates is super hard to come by so by buying these for a hundred canadian dollars it is expensive i don't think that was going to be the original msrp uh but shining fates packs are typically going for like 15 to 20 canadian dollars so buying seven packs plus you get the crobat crobat v max or dragapult dragapult v max for 100 is a pretty fair fair price. I say fair very loosely. All right, next up, let's talk about Battle Styles. Battle Styles is releasing on March 19th. This is the next major like main set in the Pokemon trading card game lineup. It's not like a special set like Shining Fates. This set is going to be pretty big and it's also going to switch up the actual competitive card game format. They're introducing new things like single strike and rapid strike to the game, which is going to be very exciting. I can't wait to play it and play it online as well. Twitch.tv slash And they are releasing an absolute ton of products for battle styles. So let's get through it rapid style. <laughs> rapid style. So first up, we have the individual booster packs. You, of course, can buy the, the basic booster pack for five bucks or so. And then you can buy a blister pack version. If you're going to invest in these, I would definitely recommend the blister pack version. Or if you're going to open them too, the blister pack version would be my recommendation because you get a really true randomized uh, randomized set of cards. You're not like, you know how in a booster box you're guaranteed like X amount of cards, basically. You're getting a true randomization in blister packs. I probably don't need to be explaining this to you. This is too much detail. They're also, of course, releasing the booster box, which is sold out in a lot of places already. And uh, apparently Battle Styles is pretty heavily allocated, but they did print a lot of it. So this is gonna be definitely a set that Pokemon reprints a lot as the years or year two goes by because it is a new kind of thing they're introducing to the card game. So try not to pay like resale prices on these items, honestly, they're gonna, they're gonna reprint a lot of these. We also have the Urshifu Single Strike and Urshifu Rapid Strike V-Box Collections. These both include a, a copy of their specific energy and a copy of their specific type of Urshifu. So these will also have four booster packs included and uh, we don't know exactly the exact 
booster packs that will be included, but you guys will be able to find out on the channel when I unbox these items. You can typically buy these individually or you can buy them as a bundle together and save a dollar or two. Next up, we have the collector's chest, which is the spring 2021 collector's chest. Uh, this is gonna have battle styles packs included inside of it, of course, but we don't yet know the other four packs included. These collector tins typically have five different packs and the pack selection on these kind of tins are typically really good. And we also don't yet know the promo item that is included in this chest. So of course, I'll let you guys know when the time comes. Next up, we have the battle styles mini binder. Not too big of a fan of these mini binders. It's it's great for like the casual collector if you really don't buy packs too, too often because you can't really store that many packs or that many cards in the binders. But hey, if you like the mini binders, they have one as well. It's pretty much the price for a pack and then you pay an extra dollar for that mini binder. We of course also have the single strike and rapid strike Arshifu Elite Trainer Boxes. These are the Battle Style Elite Trainer Boxes. Both of these Elite Trainer Boxes have eight packs inside with a matching set of card sleeves, a little uh, deck divider as well, coins. These are great if you want to uh, collect them. Elite Trainer Boxes are very investable and uh, they're cool to display as well. So yeah, these are great. Both of these I expect to probably sell out if they aren't sold out already. Next up we have the blister packs. So there's a couple of different blister pack variations for battle styles. This time around they have one for Arakuda. They also have one for Charmander, which looks really cool. And the Charmander one is actually currently like reselling for double the retail price. Both of these originally were like five bucks each. They're basically the price of a regular pack and then they include a bonus promo card and a coin for free essentially. But because of the way Pokemon is going, uh, the retail price isn't no isn't really the retail price anymore. They're also releasing a three pack blister pack with a Jolteon and one with Eevee as well. And of course you have a build and battle box which includes four of the battle styles booster packs along with a set of like a stack of cards that match really well together to build decks. These were typically used to play at like pre-release pre events in local game shops but right now those events are pretty much closed or canceled for the meantime so if you want to open the set early uh, or get some special promos there's four special promos inside of the set this is the only way you can buy them and these promos are also alternate arts as well and then the last two items for March 19th it's a big big day for March 19th I really wish they spread it out a little bit because it makes it easier for us content creators to balance our lives and upload consistency and schedule but they're also releasing the Venusaur VMAX and the Blastoise VMAX collection boxes. So these are the currently the only way you can buy these cards, both Blastoise VMAX and Venusaur VMAX. And right now they also have a V deck, a V battle deck for Venusaur and Blastoise. I'll leave them linked down below. You might've seen those videos already. And these VMAX boxes are dope. So these have a jumbo card of the Pokemon box you are buying, either Blastoise or Venusaur. They also have the VMAX version of your choice in the box, Blastoise or Venusaur. They also have four booster packs included. And from the images we see online, they include two battle styles, one sword and shield and one darkness of blaze. Now we don't know for sure if these are the guaranteed packs inside, but that's from what we've seen on the stock images. They also include some special uh, sleeves. This is one of the first times they're including like special sleeves in these VMAX collections. And this is the very first VMAX battle box that they've done. I'm wondering what they'll do for the other VMAX battle boxes, what Pokemon will be included if they're ever going to release a Charizard VMAX battle box. Because Charizard decks will probably never really see a thing in the competitive game because Charizards are a collector's card. Like they're, they're just so expensive. It doesn't make sense to play them. So maybe they'll release a promo version so people can start playing Charizard decks in the actual game and and not be burning money. If you like this style of video, make sure you guys subscribe for more Pokemon news videos. I'll try and do them on a weekly basis or on a daily basis if we get enough news items to talk about. And if you did make it to the end of the video, hit that like button, it helps my channel out a lot. And comment down below which games or which items you're looking forward to. Diamond and Pearl, I'ma go with Pearl, and I'm really looking forward to that Blastoise VMAX Battle Box. Have an awesome day, and good luck buying these Pokemon products.